Hello fellow modelers and styling fanatics, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Concrete Banker is back with another one of its notorious updates or episodes, whatever you want. So, uh, I have managed to find some time to work on my BTR80 from Italy in 1 to 35th scale and kit number 262. Luckily, I have it on top of my desk and I can check it out. So, uh, as I've said, Past George has done some work on it, and um, we have managed to uh, almost finish the upper hole and the rear armor plate. Um, so, you guys know the drill grab a seat, crack the mandatory cold one to keep you company, and let's see what Past George did. So, guys, welcome back to part one. Welcome back. Welcome to part 1 of the BTR80 build And as I've said to my previous uh, introduction video I will start working on the, on the BTR of course And following the instructions exactly So, first step starts with the turret The assembly of the turret It is a simple assembly, a simple turret, a quick one and we have the turret ring, the turret uh, upper part, and of course the gun mandlet. Three parts assembly for half of the part one. Keep an eye out. Let me see if I can focus. This uh, square part, you know, square indentation, needs to look downwards through the uh, to the vehicle's direction and the the circle to the turret direction if that made sense so it's gonna it needs to go like this and of course this one needs to go on top now I'm not gonna use extra thin for this uh, assembly because it has the tendency to slip through cracks and and stuff and it's it's going to probably freeze the manlet in place so we won't have any elevation i'm gonna use the contactor liberally as usual and we're gonna let this dry and cut the rest of the parts Okay guys, second part of step number one of the instructions and I have done of course a little bit job of camera and it, there is none other than attaching the, the lift up hooks for the, the turret and of course cleaning the parts I have made, I have drilled a hole on the machine gun, on the main machine gun and also on the coaxial one, you, which you probably won't see, yeah, that's a small hole over there. Um, now, as I've said, I have added the lifting hooks because they were tiny and uh, fiddly parts. There is uh, no need for you to see that because mainly it is boring. And it, and it involves a lot of cursing from me but I'm gonna add all the other stuff in front of the camera and I'm gonna start with the secondary machine gun I believe that it is the secondary machine gun okay looks like it is in place Now to our main gun. Too much coffee for me today. My hands are shaking like crazy. And of course. Hmm. Looks like this gun is too heavy. 
makes the, the, the thing too heavy so the money let drops okay that's no problem I'm gonna fix it later and now we move on to the uh, the smoke dischargers and over here and over here I don't know why it has the third uh, knob since it has nothing on the inside but anyway if it has it it has it that's okay for me and that's how I do it and I will need to reposition this hook see what I've told you instructions are unclear about some stuff like the position of the hooks luckily I am doing everything quick quickly before the glue sets and I was able to save that easily extra thin for the small parts guys because it makes it helps me, me to attach them uh, quickly and without making a mess and that this is our turret assembly so guys after completing step number one we are onwards on step number two uh, but before I proceed gluing parts onto the upper hole which which is all about step number two is I'm gonna need to talk about a few stuff so according to the instructions if you wanna say uh, if you wanna make the the naval infantry version over here where my file is pointing you need to attach something like a fuel tank a water tank I don't know some kind of a tank so uh, it has ridges like that and I don't intend to do the naval infantry version because I don't know I don't like I, I don't like uh, I don't know mainly because of reasons so anyway <clears throat> I filled the gaps with a plastic putty twice sanded them down and uh, I am 99% uh, sure that I did a good job and this won't be visible so keep an eye out for that uh, if you don't want to do if you're building the same kit as I do and you don't want to do the naval version you need to uh, fill those uh, two and you need to do it right now because after step number two this thing is gonna be full with uh, fragile, uh, fragile uh, grab handles now, uh, step two, another thing for step two, step two is kinda busy, kinda busy, is pretty busy to be honest with you, and it has a lot of stuff, uh, so I'm gonna break it into sections, so the first section that's you are, that you are watching right now is gonna be uh, hatches only, <laughs> so let's start with the hatches and uh, we're gonna proceed now I am going to attach the side hatches one over here and one on the other side uh, they are labeled with different uh, numbers that's the only two hatches that have different numbers on this step and that's why I am attaching them right now so I want a uh, you know mix the numbers up so let's start there are ridges and knobs everywhere so you know where to attach each part I don't know why this 
just doesn't want to fall in place anyway. Let me give it a better look. Okay, it looks like we are doing a small operation. I removed one of the knobs because it wasn't falling properly in place. Now I need to line it up. And boom, we have a winner. Let's move on to the other side now. If my measurements are correct we are going over here hopefully this time we won't need two oh yes and we're gonna need to do the same operation so because these two knobs over here are closer than these two holes operation time we're gonna remove one let me sand it improvise adapt overcome oh, it looks fine to me now now so now we're gonna move on to the upper hats the upper hats you know the hats that are located on the, the top over here i have found out that you can just click them in place And since I have this possibility, I'm gonna click them in place. Without applying any glue at all. It's not that I'm gonna open them, but since we can make them movable, why not? There is another one over here. And this one looks like it has a problem. I'm gonna check it out later and there is one over here hmm. so something is on the way over here and over here as well So my plan is not viable. Anyway, see, I'm gonna glue them sat. Either way, there is no interior detail. I was hoping that they would uh, close, but they won't do me this favor. And lastly we have the this thing that it is kinda like a hood. So I'm gonna name it like this. Now I'm gonna glue these parts off camera and I am gonna return with a bunch of grab handles. So guys it's almost been two days uh, since my last uh, small portion of the video or the, the previous part of the video anyway that you're gonna see and as I've said I have uh, glued every detailed piece onto the upper hole like uh, mostly the grab handles they are all the same numbers for both sides and uh, the same grab handles in each side you know uh, uh, when I say the same wherever they are located on the right the same they are located onto the left and here is how they look. I have also attached these two headlights, if you can hold them headlights. 
and uh, I have also refilled uh, those two holes because the the patty has cured completely and it has sipped into this hole so it uh, recreated another sink mark hopefully it won't do uh, it won't do it again now for the completion of step number two we have to attach four more pieces for my completion of step number two because I have left the windshield and a couple of pioneer, of pioneer tools off we have to attach as I said uh, a couple of pieces one of them is located on top of this uh, of this grill it's this one it is keyed one uh, one knob is bigger than the other so you won't be able to uh, put it in the wrong position to place it you know uh, to place to place it in the wrong position anyway and now we have these three portholes they are all labeled with dif different numbers so keep an eye out for them and as you can see if my mobile will focus right, as you can see the the thing that holds the porthole this part where I am uh, where I am pointing with my tweezer needs to go on the upper corner of on the upper corner of this over here of this square so keep an eye out for that as well I have lined them up over here in my bench so I won't uh, misplace them it's 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 one for each respective square and I'm gonna start attaching them right now one down two to go two down one to go so while I was cleaning parts I have to tell you that uh, the plastic is quite soft so you have to be extra careful not to remove any detail while you are cleaning them and step two is almost ready now according to instructions once again step we move on to step the number three which is this one it has a bunch of detailed uh, stuff I'm gonna need to glue some of this stuff off camera like the grab handles over here at the, at the back and this huge thing because it is I'm gonna do that because it is repetitive work and I don't want to bore you guys and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do in front of the camera so guys I am back for step number three I have done of course some things uh, off camera as I have told you and those things are uh, three handles over here one two and uh, another one over here at the back and uh, some more portholes like one two here and one over here at the front and that's the things that I have done off camera now I'm gonna leave this aside instructions on to the, the third step have multiple sub steps on one of those sub steps say that you need to make three of those of course and I made two of those off camera so uh, I would gain some time and I'm gonna make one of those in front of the camera for you guys just for you to see how it goes together it consists from uh, those uh, four parts the hatch itself a grab handle and these uh, uh, leads I should I'm gonna call them leads they are supposed to let uh, air 
inside the engine compartment if I'm not mistaken that's why they are like this oh, and they are pretty easy to put together pretty easy relatively easy I should say so I'm gonna start with the the grab handle I'm gonna put a touch of glue for it because it is a small part and doesn't need a lot of glue and I'm gonna use Tamiya extra thin for it because this is the glue that's gonna help it stay in place almost immediately and now that I have it in place we're gonna move on to our contactor from Revel for the bigger parts the slower a slower setting glue and of course the nozzle is clogged give me a moment to burn it with the lighter And we have two knobs, two holes, simple as that, once again, and that's how pu you put these hats, these hats together. Now, these three hatches, as I said, go on top of the engine compartment or what it should be the engine compartment 90% it is my knowledge of military vehicles says that it is but don't take that for granted I don't know a lot of stuff about these kinds of, uh, of about these kind of vehicles but I know how to put them together and I enjoy putting them together Mainly that's why I model and that's why I built stuff out of the box because I'm no rivet counter in any case So I don't know if they have any inaccurate the kits that I built if they have any inaccuracies But I build them out of the box because I enjoy building the building sequence. I don't care so much about uh, you know being uh, historical correct maybe some someday in the future if I gain more knowledge I will start to care if they are uh, accurate historically accurate And there we have it. Now, on to the next sub step, we're gonna uh, build the side doors. Let me cut the parts of the sprue. So, we are back for the doors, and although you don't see the doors, I have to tell you that we have to make some preparations first. Diorama teaches me <laughs> a lot of stuff. So, First, we need to attach the latches. There are two latches for each side and I have all four of them over here. So I'm gonna attach the latches as I said. We're gonna let give them some time to dry if I don't knock them all over the place because they are small pieces. We're gonna give them some time to dry and we're gonna move to the doors. Um, uh, at, uh, attach the sub assembly of the doors together and hopefully the latches would be dry enough so we can attach the doors all in one part of the video and I don't know how much you can see probably not so much because the parts are tiny and my cell phone camera is not that great but 
there are grooves over here that you can attach the latches and uh, you put them this way we are two on each side as I said let's move on to the other side as I was saying in my previous part I enjoy putting stuff together I don't care so much uh, about uh, you know being um, totally historically accurate or uh, totally realistic I don't have so much time for research and I don't like research uh, so much if there was a video I would gladly see it but if there is something in written form and, and it's not a comic I'm not gonna read it <laughs> tell me guys what uh, what's your uh, thoughts you know thoughts uh, opinions why do you research or do not research your subjects I am curious to learn and we're gonna we are going to have a discussion about it so uh, latches on the other side are in place or it looks like so it looks like and we move on to the doors let's move this aside so we have all these components they are uh, different uh, they have different numbers that's why I keep them separate each one is for its door as you see for the door on top of it and we're gonna start immediately because I don't want to bore you short disclaimer is not that I don't enjoy history or uh, being historically accurate but I am really lazy to uh, to read it you know if there is someone there to read it for me and make it enjoyable I will definitely take it and imagine that history was my favorite class in school so one door is ready we need to attach a, a, a handle and a, and a port I want to call it pistol port I, but I don't know if it is a pistol port but it looks like it but I want to call it pistol port so bad Too many handles on this kit on this rectangular box as I call it and there we have it move it aside grab our um, upper hole and now is the time for us to attach it probably I should leave it a little bit longer with a glue so it sets better but oh, I will leave it a little bit longer guys and I'm gonna return because we're gonna have a disaster <laughs> Well guys, it took me two days from uh, my previous recording, but I remembered exactly where I am. Anyway, so I won't bore you. I have glued one door on and I'm gonna glue the next one now. The one I previously tried to glue on camera, but since everything was, uh, you know, uh, in a curing state, I have abandoned my intention I hope this one makes sense anyway 
so it needs some persuasion if you uh, get what I'm saying you need to push um, the door in place or else it leaves a small gap over here over here you know in this um, uh, sim and while we are waiting for the door to cure I have uh, removed some pieces of the spruce so we can continue building now we have two caps that go in each side same numbers one on this side and one on the other like so a small antenna that goes over here and then we have a big grab handle if you can call it grab handle this one I'm gonna call it like this let me see yes and we have two uh, hinges I'm gonna call them give me a moment yeah, we have these two brackets that uh, they are possibly for they are possibly there for the headlights if I am not mistaken I'm not so sure we're gonna see on the next step one they are labeled with different numbers so one is for this side for the other And if we followed the, um, the instructions completely, we should have uh, attached two hatches over here at the front uh, winds, uh, wind, windshield that um, are you can position them open or closed, supposedly closed when the vehicle is not uh, operating, supposedly, uh, which I'm gonna leave until the end of the build. And it also has the exhausts, the, the twin exhaust system that you are supposed to glue over here in the back which of course I'm gonna leave off because I'm gonna paint it separately and what else and we have some small detailed pieces, detailed parts that go in the four holes two on, it, on this side and two on the other um, these I'm gonna attach them off camera because they are a little bit fiddly and I don't as I've, as I've said I don't wanna bore you on this episode is simply removing parts from the sprue and gluing them over here nothing interesting for you guys hopefully nothing interesting so um, I am going to attach the, these parts of camera and I am going to be back so guys, as I've told you to the, to the previous part of the video, I have installed some small detail parts, mainly uh, headlights, and now we have these two last uh, pieces of uh, the huge step number three.
these two these two yeah these two are the last pieces for me not for a guy that uh, follows the instructions uh, exactly anyway so the parts that I have installed oh, installed off camera are one over here two on the other side three this one and the fourth piece this one it there was there were eight pieces in total pretty simple and easy to attach them and uh, I didn't show it off on camera because as I've said they were pretty easy and simple to attach now we have this grab, grab handle that goes over here and this uh, box storage box I'm gonna call it that goes over here so I'm gonna start start with the storage box the line you see must face downwards to the the suspension seat, the road wheels of the vehicle sorry so this is how it is supposed to look like according to the instructions and finally the grab handle There we go. And that's everything we are going to install onto our upper hood for the time being. Of course, until we paint it. I'm gonna attach the turret. Hopefully. There we have it. And I am going to leave this whole assembly aside so guys we have all the parts required for step number four of the instruction and uh, almost all the parts to be honest with you we had all uh, we had also two hooks that i have already attached because they are tiny as you can see and uh, I have let uh, i have attached them and let them cure for a little while because I will knock them off if I do that on camera and keep uh, you know playing with the part until I, I attach the rest of the things. So let's start from the bigger parts first which are those two things that I still have no idea what they are but they are there. They look like armor panels but I don't know for what. Anyway since the vehicle has them we're gonna attach them and I don't know why I am trying to do fancy stuff with the tweezers so one down one more to go two down Easy as pie, the parts were big. Now we have this grab handle step, I don't know what it is, it's uh, on an angle, it has an, uh, an angle on top, of it, on top of it. The triangular piece, you know the point of the triangle is gonna look uh, above. To be honest with you, this goes like that on the vehicle so the triangular piece is gonna look like this it's gonna go like this so 
it probably is a step. And it is a bit warped. There we have it. Now we move on to this thing, which these two holes, which are gonna be filled with a grab, with another grab handle. What a surprise! And now we're gonna make a moving, a moving assembly. It's gonna require these three pieces. I'm gonna call this a hat. The, and you have the option to position it either open or closed. I'm gonna try to keep it movable. So first we need to attach the the break the the bracket I should add, I should call it like this I'm gonna name it like this to be honest with you there you have it And now you need to attach this one, the hats as I, as I said. And you have the option to go for a closed position and for, the, for an open position. This must uh, be some kind of... Uh, an ex exhaust, not, I'm not gonna call it exhaust air filtration system because over here there is a fan so this probably is an air filtration system as you can see this is the closed and this is the open position and now over here at the back if you are careful enough you need to glue this end cap and as I said, if you are careful enough, you can maintain the whole assembly movable. Of course, and I didn't get it with the first try. Let's try again. Hopefully I will be more lucky this time And there we have it So I'm gonna leave everything to cure Of course I'm gonna fix the grab handle And uh, maintain it in place and this should uh, and this should be a wrap for our first update or for our first episode on the BTR80. I think that I have enough footage. And with all that said and done, we have made it to the end of this episode. Hopefully, on the next episode, we will work onto the lower hall of our BTR, and we will uh, tack tackle the dreaded step of uh, the suspension system assembly instructions are a bit vague but uh, i think that i will be able to work something out and it's gonna look decent i think but that's the topic for our next episode now before i w before i go guys i want to thank each and every one of you that watched this video a special thank you to all my subscriber subscribers new and old you guys are the best and you know that you are the reason i'm keep doing the those videos and for the newcomers out there 
I hope that you like what I do. If so, you all know what to do. Leave a like, comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video if you believe that it deserves to be shared, or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, take care and model on. It was that Mofo Damon, signing out.